Hi YouTube, I promised to do a few videos on martial basics and I said I would start with footwork so I'm going to go through some footwork to be used at distance. It's, um, you often see people doing inappropriate footwork, they'll be dragging their feet along like so, they'll be um, jumping up and down and generally trying to be really static. The first thing you've got to think about is when you, anything when you're in control of your feet is that you're in a position where you are in your feet. So the point, the point right here is where you are. Like a sprinter, you're ready to go in your feet. And you're in this position, so you can move backwards and you can move forwards and you're in control. Your hips are in control as well, in movement as well. So you've got all this motion. Um, too many people up here, it's, you get hit, you've got nowhere to go. Um, it's really important that you get used to being in, in your feet and being in control of your feet, otherwise you come up against somebody that can fight and you will get pummeled. So, let's have a look at some basics. Here's Tadis with his small shoes on, almost, um, <laughs> almost uh, Donald Trump-esque hands on the end of his legs. So, here I am with, with Tadis. I'm just going to move over there, Tadis, so you can see the feet. If I'm here, I need to move into Tadis. First of all, I need to make sure that I move both my legs. So the first one is I will move forward and I will bring this foot up. So if I'm striking, I have to carry that momentum into the strike. It's no good me moving in and then striking. I need to carry that momentum into the strike. And I have to carry the momentum of one, two, into the strike. So no matter what punches I'm using, they come from this forward and back. And this is a very simple, front leg goes forward, other one follows. Back leg goes back, other one follows. I'm not jumping, and I'm not stretching. If I'm stretching, I'm off balance. So it has to come in, boom, there I am, straight in, and straight back. Very simple footwork. And it's the same as if I'm circling. If I want to circle this way, for a defensive circle, I will move this foot first, I'll move it out, and I'll move to here. If I want to circle this way, I'll move this foot forward and I'll move it here. All the time I'm keeping this position of balance as I move. This is footwork 101. Very simple. 101. Keeping my position. But it's only part of the story. We're going to do some more footwork now. We're going to look at the front foot swivel. Now the front foot swivel is when I'm here, all I'm going to do, look, is I'm going to move and I'm going to change my angle to here. Very slight change of angle. So if I'm here with, with Tadas, like so, and he moves towards me, I can front foot swivel and I can change the angle here. So it's here, look, and change. I can make it larger if I want. I can make it extremely short, this front foot swivel. Of course I wouldn't stand static while I'm doing it. I would move and swivel. I might use this to swivel and move away. So if I'm in this position, I might move and move around. See how this works together. The third one is where I open out. So rather than me being here and closing down, I'm going to open out. Now one of the useful ones here is if Talus changes his feet around. I said, would you just, oh, actually probably go there. So he's got a southpaw, so that's it. What I can't do, if I front foot swivel from this position and do nothing, I'm going to swivel inside of him and he's going to hit me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open out. So as he, as he steps, I open. Can you see how I open out here? I can now front foot swivel if I wish, but this opening out takes this line. So it's a very useful thing to have. So we've got basics, basics, good stance. We've got front foot swivel. We've got opening out. And we can work them together. Now, I'm going to show you one more that I really like, um, which is bordering on the advance now, um, and it's called the V-step. Now, if you just orthodox for me, what I'm going to do here is if I move normally, like this, Tadus knows I'm moving. So if I start to move, he starts to move. If I start to change my feet, I'm going to swap feet over, he would change his feet or he would do attack me. Can you see? I'm telegraphing. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw this foot. 
but I'm not going to give a tell of the body. I might be using my hands. I'm not going to give a tell. And I'm just going to change the side and I move like this. So in effect, what I'm doing is here is that I'm bringing this foot in. I'm stepping that foot out and I'm replacing that foot. That's the V step. So it goes very small steps. It's very quick. So I'm here. When I go, it has, I move. I've changed the angle and I've hit him. So my feet allows me to do this. Normally I'm going in with us, moving forward. I change and I hit because the angle has changed. This is called the V step. It's really useful. This is the fundamentals of footwork. Remember, the basic footwork back, forward, always in your feet, always sunk down. Then you can start to put in things like front foot swivels. You can open out and swivel. You can V-step and change. The next video, we're going to look against the wall. We're going to look at this footwork, type of footwork up close. And we're going to compare it and contrast it with winch and swivel, which, no, let's leave that for next time. Subscribe.